Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Do you have one of these Keurig coffee makers at your office? This is the model number K155. Now I'm going to show you it has a special menu up here. Do you want this screen to say something? You can type in what that's going to say. Now normally, you cannot get to this menu just by pressing on this. You've got to do it a special way. Back here is a spring-loaded switch. Press that down, the screen goes off. Now what you're going to do is you're going to hold that button, even though it's spring-loaded, hold it down. But first, I want to touch this, put your finger on the screen, hold the button down, and the screen, well, it's got to be five seconds, and then it's going to change. We're in the special menu mode. Now I'm going to explain each one. If you hit the home button, it's just going to go back to home. You'll have to go, you'll have to turn it off and come back. We can, this has a clock. Now if you, it comes disabled, so you won't see the clock on the screen, but if you hit enabled, and then you can do hour and minute, hit OK. Then we've got brew temp. We can set this from 188 all the way to 198, and that's what it'll brew whenever you put a, a cake up in there. Click OK. Brew sizes. You can turn brew sizes off. Right now, it's showing all four, but say I don't want to show the, the four ounce and the 10 ounce. It will only show the six and the eight ounce now, but I want them all four. Click OK. Now the auto off. It's going to turn off after two hours after the last brew. Again, you can turn this off. It's disabled or on. Click OK. Now this on off time. If you've got the clock disabled, this will be this will be gray and you won't be able to select it. So set the clock. Now the on off time is kind of a nice feature because this thing has an internal uh, water tank that needs to heat up and that can take anywhere from five, you know, about five minutes. And say everybody leaves the office like at 3 a.m. or, you know, 3, 3 p.m., then you want to turn the coffee maker off automatically. So you could have it start at seven in the morning and then off at, um, you know, three o'clock at night. But that doesn't mean people can't brew coffee with it. That just turns it off. They can come up here and hit the button and then they can still brew their coffee. It, it will just take a little bit longer. Hit OK. Language, I can select three different languages. Now here's the fun part, the contact. Now, this can get a lot of fun, but there's the default, Keurig, press that. I can type in here, I can backspace, delete, and I can have that say, happy birthday, so-and-so. Click OK. I can even say, but you know, what it's meant for is, if you're having a problem, call, call John over in um, tech support or something, and he could leave his phone number here. He could say, here's my phone number, click OK. And then you can even change the website, you know, okay, call, you know, here's the website to go to. Pretty neat little hidden secret here. And that shows every once in a while on this menu. So when the coffee maker's just sitting here, it's kind of cycling through different screens. This will pop up every once in a while. Click OK. And again, when you want to go back, that's all the menus you get. Hit the home button, you're back to this. Now again, you cannot get here. You've got to turn it off first. Normally, there's the time now. You know, I, I've tried getting to that special menu, but there's no other way than that. So I hope this video helps. I've got other videos, so it never tells you when it's time to descale this. So if your coffee's not as hot, I've got a, a video on how to put white vinegar in here and descale it. And also if your needles are clogged, so say nothing's coming out or if it's splattering all over the place, I show you how to clean the needles. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.